Hi there, in this video we're going to have a look at my December 2023 solar production. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and 4 on the east, and a solar edge 4 kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Hub, and the Hypervolt EV charger. Right, so this is the month of December, pretty poor. Last month, I was kind of hoping we were gonna get 200 kilowatt hours. God, that was lucky. We barely made just over 100. Um, so 103.66 kilowatt hours for the month, very low days. I mean, the best day of the month was the 1st of December um, at 14. Um, and then there was just another day kind of over 10 on the 6th of December. But most, you can tell most of these days, very, very low production with the worst one being the 27th at just over 200 watt hours there. Uh, yeah, so not very good m a month at all, to be honest. It works out uh, the average day was 3.34 kilowatt hours per day. So what does that look like uh, compared to last year's? Well, now we've rolled over to January. Uh, Solar Edge has given us some new colours. Um, so they've given us green for 2024 and red for the oldest year of 2022. So December last year was a lot, lot better. So December in 2022 was 166 kilowatt hours, whereas uh, in 2023, we only got 103. So that really is 30 kilowatt, uh, sorry, 60 kilowatt hours uh, off, really. Although November was a little bit better. So even though December this year was really bad at 103, we had a good November. And if I compare last year with this year, it basically works out to be the same uh, numbers. As you can see there, November 2022, 180. December 166 gives us 346. And this year we were on 347. So I can't really complain too much, I suppose. But, you know, I was just hoping because November was good, I thought December was going to be good as well. How wrong I was. So I'm going to come straight on to talking about the Eddy, uh, basically because the Hypervolt, it's not even worth mentioning. We only put used it for about three kilowatt hours this month to put uh, a little tiny top up in the cars. Um, so I'm going to come straight on to the My Energy Hot Water Eddy and where we used 151.2 kilowatt hours was used by the Eddy. Now, most of this was overnight. Um, I haven't split this up for what was used during the solar days, although not a lot, because obviously we didn't get a lot of solar in December. Um, but basically what I've been doing is uh, fully, well, ch scheduling every night for the Eddy to heat that water up overnight on cheap rate on Intelligent, Octopus Intelligent at seven and a half P. And on average, we've kind of been putting in four and a half, five kilowatt hours sort of, or using it every night to heat the hot water and then if there was a bit of sun it was sort of uh, after it filled the battery up it would then kind of just top up um, the temperature of the water a little bit as well so all of this uh, power has been now overnight uh, mainly because of the shift to uh, you know it's cheap overnight at seven and a half whereas I can export at 15 now being back on octopus so you know it's turned itself on its head uh, we want all that solar at 15p to go out the door and get paid for that. And we just want to use as much as we can overnight on that cheap rate kind of tariff. Right. Okay. So moving swiftly on to the export as shown in the Octopus Energy dashboard. So for the month of uh, December, uh, we exported 46.89 kilowatt hours. And I'll go into some more detail on those numbers at the end of the video. So uh, not a great uh number for december but what you expect is kind of the worst month of the year so we only brought in um you know 100 um kilowatt hours really and we exported nearly half of that um although some of that would have been from from uh the battery that we would have topped up overnight as well so it wouldn't have all have been solar export some of it might have been battery export as well especially with the saving sessions happening um so this is it for the month. As you can see, some days were better than others. Six kilowatt hours on the 6th, but most days 0.1, you 
you know, 100 watt hours sort of thing like that. Really, really low uh, going through the month. So for my actual electricity import for the whole of the month, uh, 1st of December to the 31st of December, I actually uh, imported uh, 538 kilowatt hours. And obviously that was a mixture of overnight and daytime energy. And I'll uh, break that down in a moment. Fairly consistent throughout the month, really. Um, each day kind of being between kind of, I don't know, 15 and to 20 kilowatt hours, really, uh, each day. So just having a quick look at the battery shortfall for December, I usually look at the uh, values from sort of 6 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m. is when intelligence starts up and the cheap rate starts again, and I start topping up the battery. But I'm just interested to see if the battery falls short, really during the month now these uh, numbers are a bit bit swift really a bit different this month because um of the saving sessions so we did have to use a bit more um peak rate electric when we after we'd exported to the grid for an hour or an hour and a half during the saving sessions so for the whole month we used um 36.99 kilowatt hours between 6 p.m and 11 30 p.m and at 31 pence a kilowatt hour, that worked out to be 15 pounds and 16. But if I remove the saving session days completely, now admittedly, we might have used some on those days, but um, we would have used 17.65 kilowatt hours at 31 pence, which is only 7 pounds and 22 pence for the month where the battery sort of didn't last uh, when it was a really bad um, dark day. And obviously we didn't get any solar that day or we just used more power. So here's the grid uh, import breakdown for December. We actually used uh, 483.53 kilowatt hours on cheap rate at seven and a half pence. That equaled 36 pounds and 26 pence. And we used 54.51 kilowatt hours at the peak rate at 31 pence. And that equaled 16 pounds and 91 pence. Now for export, we actually exported 46.89 kilowatt hours this time uh, now with Octopus for that at 15 pence, uh, seven pounds and three pence that equaled. And don't forget we had the saving sessions. There was quite a few in December, the 1st, the 5th, the 12th, the 14th, the 15th and the 19th of December. And throughout those six uh, sessions, I managed to pocket 41 pounds and 27 pence. So if you add the uh, electric import together, minus the export, minus the saving sessions, it actually works out that I only spent four pounds and 87 pence during the whole month of December on electric. So even though we had a really bad month of solar production, uh, the good thing was that we had these saving sessions, which were probably even better than having sun, to be honest, um, as we earned more that way than we would have done probably exporting. So just a quick look at the gas for the month. Uh, I just worked it out and did a meter read. Uh, 2,221 kilowatt hours at 6.78 pence, which obviously it's now, this is on a standard variable tariff. It's now just gone up in January 2024 uh, to a seven pence. Uh, but that worked out to be 150 pounds and 61 pence for the month of December. Obviously not including the standing charge, which we'll come on to next. So the standing charges for gas, 27.47 pence a day times 31 days in December gives us 8.52. And the electrics, 42 uh, pence a day times 31 days is 13 pounds and two pence. So overall for the gas, as I said, 150 pounds plus the 8 pound 52 standing charge equals 159 pounds and 13 pence. And then when you work out the electric, well, we spent 53 pounds and 17 pence on electric, importing it from the grid, uh, plus the 13 pounds and two pence standing charge, but then minus the seven pounds and three pence that we exported, and then minus the 41 pounds, 27 pence that we earned through uh, the saving sessions, gives us a total with standing charge this time of 17 pounds and 89 pence for the month. Uh, with the total being with for both gas and electric 177 pounds and two pence so as you can see uh, the gas although I don't think it was too bad actually that gas um, if it had been on the higher rate uh, the seven pence rate that we've now got in January in December it would have just worked out about 10 pounds a month more 
So that was December. What a really, really bad month for solar. But then again, as I said before, without a really bad month, we wouldn't have had these saving sessions. So if you're not in on these saving sessions and you've got a solar storage battery, then it's worth getting in on it and uh, getting paid to export. Uh, yeah, really worth doing. As you can see, earning sort of 40 pounds in December. Hopefully I'll be able to earn another 40 to 50 pounds in January, February, March time as well. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So what am I hoping for January? Well, more sun, hopefully, uh, to uh, increase that solar production. But thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like. And don't forget to leave a comment below about your uh, production during December. And uh, I'll see you soon.